This week's video on the Lightning Rods bike is going to take a look at the bike's seat. If you stick around to the end of the video though, you can see a short clip of the Lightning Rods motor spooling up with the Back 2000. This Enduro style of frame typically comes with two seating options. An assembly that holds the seat post for a bicycle style seat, and you can also get a motorcycle style seat. And both of these options work well depending on the rider's requirements. I'm working on a design that's a hybrid of the two styles to enable an adjustable seat position and towing capabilities. I will be incorporating the existing seat post hardware with an adjustable moto seat platform. My father-in-law would like one of these bikes and he's at least six foot five. There are a lot of really tall people that I think can benefit from more flexibility in adjusting the ride height of a bike. So why not have a more adjustable seat? You can change things like the suspension or the wheel size, but these things do have an effect on how a bike rides. So if a rider wants a 17 inch rear wheel for torque and acceleration, it might bring a taller rider too close to the ground. I'm hopeful that a system like this will make it easier to set up a frame to suit his requirements. He really wants the moto seat, but he also wants his legs to be comfortable without having the foot pegs really close to the ground either. The design itself is not particularly complicated. It consists of a plate that mounts to the top of the main body of the frame, and this is hinged. Another plate carries the main body of the seat, and that's what the cushioning and stuff would be attached to there. The plate's supported at the other end by the seat post and a pivot point, and rails, and these support the main weight of the rider down onto the frame. There are multiple points of adjustment here, so this should work for any bike of this style with minimum modifications. The cushion part of the seat will attach over the top and it should be pretty easy to design this plate to allow fixing points whether they be holes or slots for strapping or webbing. If anybody has uh, expertise or experience in fabrication, upholstery, leather work or even knows something that's pre-made um, if they could let me know or get in touch because uh, that is not really an area of expertise that I have. As a spray foam, I'm actually thinking it might be possible to use some two pound foam and then shape it and then use maybe memory foam over the top and then fabric over the top of that. But I'm not that knowledgeable with upholstery so any tips would be very much welcome. I am looking into the cost and manufacture of these parts and I'll definitely be adapting the design based on what I find out. I think I can make a few of these components like, like this part here and the rails with polycarbonate on the 3D printer because that's incredibly strong but I'm probably looking at some sort of aluminum maybe for the main piece. It's not a material I can fabricate though so lots to learn for sure. It seems to me that the, the tool paths and cutting eat up a good deal of the cost so the better that I can optimize this design the cheaper it's going to be. The secondary reason for this seat design, and for me the most important, is that I want to be able to pull cargo with this bike. The LR motor is very powerful, it has a ton of torque, so pulling a trailer with the right gearing is very doable. I already know how useful e-bikes are with trailers because I've used one. This is the WeHu trailer that is looking a bit battered right now, but it served me well. I had a huge amount of fun pulling my two kids in it on the school run to beaches, parks, all over Ottawa pretty much. There are limitations to the design of this trailer with most of the weight going on the one side of the axle. So the plan is to modify it and make it stronger and then use it as a demonstrator. There is an ongoing trailer project on the channel which quite a few people will be contributing towards. The end goal is to design a family of cargo trailers that can be replicated around the world and used to start moving goods and services out of gas vehicles and into cheap, efficient, light electric vehicles. Beyond delivering cargo though, I think there is potential for a well-designed trailer to be used for passengers, touring holidays, hunting and fishing trips. I am going to be doing a dirt bike version of this build. It will be a brilliant bike for it. Basically like the Surron except with a powerful motor that won't fail at high RPM. But I feel that there's so much more that these vehicles can do as well as just tearing up the dirt. So please let me know what you think. 
it's always great to get feedback and quite often that feedback makes it into the end design. Don't worry if you think it sounds daft, sometimes the most basic question or comment can prove to be the most useful. Thanks for watching the channel and enjoy the clip with the LR motor. Cheers.